Hello, this is Jim Michaels with the Hickory Heights Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I'd like to share with you just a short message from the Bible today. I want us to go back to the Old Testament and look at the book of Job and a few things that are said within that book. Now, as we study that book, obviously Job was a man of great patience or great endurance. He's described that way in James 5, also in verses 11. And rightly so, because of all the things that he had to endure. And he had to patiently endure those things. You know, everything that he had of a material value, really, he lost all those things. He lost his oxen, his, uh, his, oxen, his donkeys, his sheep, his camels, and even his servants that were taking care of those animals. As there were raids of men that would come and steal those animals from him, and then they would kill the servants. And then he had seven sons and three daughters, as it was described a little earlier in chapter 1. His sons and daughters perish as well. And then eventually he's stricken with uh, balls from the sole of his feet to the top of his head that we can see in chapter 2 and verses 7. Chapter 2 and verses 9, we see that his wife turns on him. And she tells him, said, why don't you just go ahead and curse God and die? And yet uh, he says that she acted like a foolish woman. And then a little later in chapter 2 and verses 13, he has three friends that come to him. And they come, no doubt, to offer comfort to him. And they sit and look at him, it seems, for seven days or so. And they don't say anything. But eventually when they start saying things to him, there's usually the accusations that they are, was, uh, several accusations that they made against him, that he was guilty of some great sin. That's the reason why he's suffering. And then in chapter 16 and verses 2, he calls them miserable comforters. And certainly that was the case. But how devastating this must have been uh, for this great man of God. Yet there were some things that we can see that he retained and that he did not lose. You know, in the very beginning of this, in chapter 2, uh, before his wife turns on him and his friends, it says God describes him that uh, he was still a man of integrity. He didn't lose his integrity in spite of all the things that he had to endure up to that moment in time. But another thing that he didn't lose, he didn't lose his life. God didn't allow Satan to take his life. It was Satan that was behind all of these problems and not God himself, as his three friends were accusing him of, of some great sin that he had committed. But there's another thing that he didn't lose as well. And that was that he didn't lose his soul. And the reason he didn't lose his soul is because of his faith in God and his trust in God. He knew in spite of all the problems that he was experiencing and all the suffering that he had to endure, yet there was a God in heaven that loved him, no doubt, and cared for him. That doesn't mean that he always handled everything exactly right, but he continued uh, to acknowledge that God is and that God exists. And then God blessed him with even more material things at the end of the book. So what a great example for us. Despite our sufferings, let us always trust in God. He's gracious and good, and he loves us and cares for us. Thank you for listening.